Uh, well, since the end, uh, the end of last season, we've um, kind of got together with uh, the assistants and um, by uh, performance analysis, and we discussed the program of last season. We discussed the players, uh, and then we've uh, been putting a lot of hard work and effort into scouting ready for this season. I mean, just give us a bit of an insight into how in depth that that goes. Of course, there's hundreds of thousands of players out there. Yeah, so uh, like you say, there's hundreds and thousands of players out there. Um, we, we put together a, a list of potentials, you know, ranging from our, our top priority down to, you know, like a top top 20 of each position that we're looking at. Uh, we speak to several agents, we speak to the players themselves, coaches, uh, we look at their past performances, whether they're rookies or already professionals. Uh, and, and from that and their figures, we, we, we make a, a, a decision on um, who we think is going to fit the, the way we want to play next season. And this summer, the first chance really for you to put your own identity on the team. Obviously, last season you entered it with a, a few hangover from, from the previous coaching setup, I guess. So, almost a chance to start from a clean slate. Yeah, so um, absolutely. More, more pressure uh, on, on, on me this season. Um, we've, we've only. Uh, we're, we're only bringing back two players from last season. Um, the, my first season in the BVO, I inherited a, a lot of players that were on two-year deals. Um, so, uh, like you say, I actually get to put my own stamp on it um, this season. And, and you've sort of made a change with how you've recruited, haven't you, focusing perhaps more on quality over quantity? Yeah, um, we're, we made a conscious decision uh, not, not to bring any rookies in um, this season. We're, we're, we're looking to bring in experienced professional players. Um, I feel that 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 will be the way forward, uh, and, and will help us uh, as a team and as a club into getting more wins this season. Did you feel that lack of experience in now was perhaps a reason why you didn't pick up as as many wins last season? Sure. Uh, if you look at the, the second half of the season, we got so close in a lot more games, but uh, you know, with the, with that lack of experience, um, we we were unlucky not to close some of those games out. I think if we had a, a couple more experienced professional players. Um, I think we would have got those close games over the line uh, and with that in mind it's become part of our criteria in the recruitment process for this season. So you're going to be getting the players together uh, all arriving in, in August and you've got the first pre-season game against USA Select so I've hit the ground running with that one. Yeah, hopefully. Um, uh, they're all coming in mid-August so we'll get pre-season on the go in mid-August. Um, give us a good couple of weeks before we hit, hit USA Select. Uh, that way we'll be able to see um, what works, what doesn't work, any, any tweaks and changes that we may need to make. Uh, then we've got a good three weeks before our first game away to Sheffield. And the, and the good news with being so, so organised this summer is that everyone's going to be here at, you know, from that middle of August, like you say, rather than maybe arriving a week or two before the season. Yeah, we, 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 we struggled. It was very frustrating last, last pre-season where everybody came, came in drips and drabs, uh, where we weren't able to get you know that, that consistency and that, that chemistry uh, at an earlier start, uh, whereas now they're all going to be here together at the same time. We're all reporting back to pre-season on the same date, same time, uh, which gives us a good five weeks before our first game. You mentioned the first game, Sheffield away, and then the first home game is the is the new team, London City Royals at home, and then I think we've got Surrey at, at home as well. So a, uh, a stark contrast to last season when we had a really tough start. Yeah, uh, a different start to this season. I'm not going to say it's any easier because um, you know, as what I found out last season that, that you know every team is uh, it's, it's hard to compete against. Um, I'm just hoping that we will be able to compete a lot quicker and a lot stronger than what we did last season. Um, it was always tough to play Leicester, London, Glasgow, and Worcester as your first, uh, and Newcastle as your first five games of the season. Whereas, uh, you know, not, not taking anything for granted or no disrespect, but, uh, you know, we've got more, I suppose, what we could call middle of the league teams uh, to go up against at the start of this season rather than playing the top teams from last season. And I suppose a little bit of pressure, I guess, to get off to a good start, you know, in your second year in the, in the job. Yeah, obviously, you know, with the, with the recruitment that we've made, we, we feel that we're going to get off to a better start. Um, you know, we can't go six and zero. Oh, set up, sorry, uh, zero and seven, zero and eight, like like we did last season before we get our first one. We have to pick a few more wins up. You know, early doors this season, get get that momentum building. And of course, Leeds dropping out, lead and replaced with with London City Royals, which I guess brings a little bit of an unknown into that start of the season. 
Um, yeah, a little bit of unknown. I, I don't think London City Royals are going to be as poor as Leeds. Um, I do think they're going to come in uh, quite strong. Um, and I think they're going to be a big challenge, uh, you know, the top top six teams in that league. Um, you know, from, from reading what they've put out on social media, they're going to have a bit of money to spend. And I do think they're going to bring in some of the better, better British players that are out there back to the BBL. And just a message, a final message, I guess, for, for Giants fans, you know, pushing for the playoffs this season is surely the aim for every team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we have to push um, onto the playoffs this season. You know, I, I learned a lot last season, made a lot of mistakes, made a lot of good decisions, uh, and hopefully with those mistakes that were made, and the good decisions made, we can put all that into progress this season uh, and, and aim for the playoffs and hopefully be there or thereabouts in April.